My name is Andrea Evans. I think this is my eighth year. It's actually pretty funny uh, story how this all started. My husband was watching a video on social media and he showed me this animal hopping around. I said, what is that? And he said, it's a rabbit. I go, what kind of rabbit is that? It's the famous Wally -E video of this Angora rabbit. Uh -huh. And I said, I'm gonna get one of those. He goes, okay, whatever. So I started researching English Angoras and I went to the Estes Park Wool Market in Estes Park and they had Angora rabbits there. Uh -huh. My husband had gone out of town, so I went up there picked one up and brought it home. He came home from his trip with his friends and I said, don't be mad. Her name was Wanda. She was my very first rabbit. And I wanted to learn more. And I went to a show and we went home with a buck. <laughs> that, so that day. that was bunny number two? That was bunny number two, so we had two. And they were in different cages. Uh -huh. um, and then my husband went out of town again and I bred them. So what is your favorite thing about the Angora? I love the personalities. I think it's the accomplishment of what I can create. Um, my, ha my probably best rabbit I had was Lola. She, um, she was a showgirl. Uh, but she was, I got her coat, it was huge, and it, she was at 12 months. And just the accomplishment of the wow factor of her, and I was able to grow her wool that long. To me, it's calming, you know. This week, what I put Netflix on with a glass of wine, and I'll do some grooming with bellies. I do the blowing outside, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's just calming to me and I get to just hang out and talk. My dad lives with us as well, he's 89. Yeah, it's just so a weird, interesting hobby, so. I'm sure that's really good for their temperament too. Yeah, but that's why they're usually pretty calm. Most, like if you look at some of the, the tans and the mini racks, they're a little bit more active. Um, but with the English Angora, they're, they're pretty calm. Most Angoras are because mm -hmm. they're handled a lot. So do you have any advice for anybody who would be interested in raising Angoras? Yeah, um, the cuteness factor is what drew me in. Um, the English Angora, as cute as they are, the highest maintenance, maintenance rabbits in this room. Okay. Um, if I was to do it all over again, then I'd probably do English. <laughs> I always tell myself I'd probably do French just because they're a little bit easier. I'm also a teacher, so okay. I am going to start, I'm going to pick up some giant Angoras. Um, and so they look a lot like a normal rabbit, but they do have little fuzzies on the ears and a little bit here. They're a little bit e easier to take care of because their coats are a little different, um, but they're just as soft and beautiful, so. Angora wool is, was it like the warmest? It's the warmest wool out there. They do say it's a little bit harder to spin because more slip to the wool, okay. which is probably why I'm struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll mix it either with alpaca or they'll do some type of merino wool. They'll mix that and that makes it a little bit easier. It's a very, very soft and warm. Perfect. I just, can I touch her? Yeah, go for ah. it. <laughs> oh, my cloud. Oh, that's so soft. Yeah. So she's the best of breed in all three shows today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Look at you. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a joy to see your rabbits, yeah. honestly, coming to these shows and seeing the variety. Yeah. These are always one of my favorites. The showstoppers, yeah. yeah.